Today I'm going to take a look at how we can use the new Filmora 13's AI text based editing feature. And believe me, you're going to want to watch this to the end as it could save you a lot of time and work. I'm John and this is Fun with Filmora. This new edition will allow you to convert a spoken voice in your video to text. You can also edit the text created within the built-in text editor. It's also a very easy way to add subtitles to your videos. Let's look at each one of these in more detail. There are four ways in which you can access the AI text-based editing feature. The first way is by using the AI text clipper from the main menu here. Click on that. Choose your file. That will open Filmora and it will bring you to this window. We want text based editing and now we want the language in which the video is to be transcribed. In this instance it's mine and it's English UK. So give that a minute or two and what that is doing now is taking your video and transcribing the voice into text which you can then make into subtitles. Once it opens you can see that it's transcribed my video. This didn't have any text subtitles with it but it has now and we can make changes here. So for example if I want to remove a word say river, if I search for the word river it highlights it, it shows you where it is in the clip and then I can actually delete that. That's got rid of that word and it shrunk the video and the text down slightly. Let me just undo that because I've just noticed as well there's another word river in there but it has a capital R so if I change that to capital R river it will now pick that one up so bear that in mind it's um, capital letter specific or lowercase specific so I had two words river in there one was lowercase one was uppercase and it picked them up individually but another thing we can do is we can highlight a whole section if we don't want that and it shows you exactly where that section is on there and delete it. I'll just undo that. We can change the text in here. So for example, unexplained phenomena. <laughs> unexplained phenom. Oh my God, it's gonna be one of those days. <laughs> Tell you what, I don't like that word, I'll take it out. <laughs> so I'll delete that word. I'll delete Bell Farm House. Obviously you'll do this, that would make sense to your video. And you can see at the same time, it's actually highlighting and deleting the text out of the video. I'll delete that. Now, it won't make sense now because I've just deleted silly little things. But you can see how that's really going to help. Let me just undo that and get back to the start. Okay. Also, what you can do now is you can click on the bottom left here. Go to the subtitle editor after exporting because what that will allow you to do, it will allow you to export it to the timeline as a separate SRT text file, which is great for subtitles. So click on export to timeline. And I think this is where I do most of my editing anyway, to be fair, on the actual text. So for example, it's now put this all down in the text as it should be in an SRT file at the different time frames. And you can see it's split it all up there as well. When you click on each one, it highlights where that is. What we can do now is save that. So you can see now it's created a video and a separate SRT subtitle file. You can see that's all one file at the moment, but if you need to edit that further, you just click on advanced in the bottom right. And that brings up your subtitle editor again. I can see here I had text already on the first slide so I don't need that text there so I'm just going to go through to where the first slide ends which is there and I will actually I'll delete all of that I don't need don't require that at all let's see how this starts now one of John Bell's daughters bet right there's some words missing there one of John Bell's daughters so I can now go in and edit this to say one of John Bells and I'll just make that a capital B and that will have changed now so one of John Bell's daughters Betsy there you go. it started a bit late should have started when that image kicked in all I need to do now is drag that across 
and that will start at the right time now so let's just play that explained phenomena one of john bell's daughters betsy is tormented by an unseen apparition there we go it does bring up some strange translations sometimes as well <laughs> i've just noticed so one of john bell's daughters betsy is tormented by an unseen apparition and is later sent to a neighbor's <laughs> house in the hope that she can sleep in <laughs> That is the latest, the chicken sleep. <laughs> it doesn't get it 100% right, but it obviously makes it a lot quicker and you can re-edit that at any time. All you do is you click on there and you type in what the actual text should be. You can't remember what it was off the top of my head. Let's have a listen. <laughs> that is the latest, the chicken sleep. Brilliant. And is later sent to a neighbour's house in the home. And is later sent to a neighbour's house. Let me just change that. <laughs> Let's try that. Mission, and is later sent to a neighbor's house. That looks better. <laughs> Once you're happy with that, you can save it. Or what you can do as well is you can also edit and format your text or your subtitles from here. So let's choose a preset, for example. I'll make it yellow. That always seems to stand out. I can make the font larger. I can change the font. Let's try something like... That one I'll make it a bit larger again now I've changed the font maybe yeah 44 and again you can do further stuff you can customize all the fill the effect but I'm quite happy with that now at this moment in time because I've only done the formatting on that one piece of text the others are all still white very simply if you want it on all of them just click apply to all once you've done that there you go You'll notice that all of the text is now formatted like that. Is tormented by an unseen apparition and is later sent to a neighbor. That's great. We can now save that. And that's the first way we can access the AI text-based editing feature. Another way you can do it, let me just delete that, is import your clip. And now if we right click on it and go to AI text-based editing, if you click on it and do text-based editing again and give it a minute, it brings you back to the same window where you can do all of your editing again. And don't forget to click on this if you want the subtitle editor after exporting. And then export it to timeline. Okay. Ah, I right, see. So you do get an option here to delete all silent clips. So if there is any silence in your video, let's just have a look. Okay. It's deleted a couple. I'm okay. I'm quite happy with leaving them in. So I've just undone that. Let's see what the drop down box is. Okay. Yeah. So that changes it from just editing your text to being able to delete all silent clips. I'd find that a bit hard to do. I leave a couple of silent pauses in deliberately. So if I did that, it delete all of them. So I'm quite happy the way it is. I don't need that type of editing. Okay, let's just um, close that down. That's the second way in which you can access it. The third way is if you actually have it on the timeline, you can now right click, go to smart edit tool and choose ai text based editing from there again let's choose our text based editing let it work its magic and again it brings you up to the same window and the fourth way is by having it in the timeline again then going to tools down to audio and i don't know why it's under audio ai text based editing but it is under audio click on that and again that will bring you to exactly the same window so you can see how powerful this can be it can really help you with adding subtitles which can take a long time yes you'll still have to do a bit of editing especially on mine when it talks about chicken sleep <laughs> but i'd much sooner be able to edit just a couple of lines uh, rather than having to type it all out manually so it's a great feature if you have a video like i had then that already had a voice over on it this will actually take out that voice and transcribe it into text for you and create your subtitles. Something else you can do as well. Let me just export that to the timeline and save. Now that we've got this SRT file on the top, we can actually right click on that and export that subtitle file on its own. And that can then be imported back in into future videos. So another great AI feature built into Filmora. 
not perfect you do still have to do a bit of editing like i said but this is only going to get better it's early days and as time goes on i think all of the ai features that filmora has embedded into its software will only help you as an editor to get better results and do your video editing faster i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial as always please like subscribe and click on the notification bell it really does help my channel and i really really do appreciate it and as always thanks for watching now go have some fun Thank <laughs> you.